Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome two full bedroom fifth wheel from a brand that we don't normally see on the show, so it's very exciting to show everybody. This is a 2822 Sabre Cobalt model 38 DBQ. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Sabre and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited today. We are taking a look at an awesome two full bedroom unit fifth wheel from Forest River, which is the Sabre. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going today? It's going good. Well, Matt, it's a little cold and- Why is who it watched, cold? Because we're up here in Michigan. Yes. It's only September, um, but you know, you know, we're, we're Florida people. Even yes. though I don't live in Florida, that's our vibe. So uh, I think this will be our last trip up north. Yeah, we'll yeah, see you. yeah, for this year. Yeah. But Will, we're a little farther north because yes. we, we're here at A&S, right. which is newly acquired. Yep. For, and I didn't know they had two locations. Right. Yeah, we were driving and I was like, man, this sure is taking a long time. And I look at the map and I'm like, I think Matt's going to the wrong a and Yes. Well, by that time, we were already committed. I didn't even say anything. Yes. <laughs> well, well, it's super exciting. And starting next week, guys, we're going to be at uh, Elkhart, Indiana for RV Open House, showing yes. you the newest 2023s. But Will, that's next week. Let's begin. All right. Model is Sabre 38 QBD. Something like that, Sir DBQ. William. DBQ. Yes. Actual tip tip length is 43 feet, four inches. The dry weight is 12,493 pounds. And the hitch weight is 2,030 pounds. Very nice. This is this is a technically a full profile fifth wheel, but it's priced probably more like a mid pro. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Right up here we do have a painted fiberglass front cap. Saber looks good. You know who has sabers? Our friends RV Miles. Oh, that's right. Um, they have a saber, and we actually reviewed their their front living yep. that they full time in. Make sure you guys check that one out. Right here, Will, it is a pin box. I believe it's a Kurt pin box, Rotoflex pin box. Okay. Right over here is storage and there is spare tire spare tire carrier coming on down here you can see the lipper ground control this unit does have four Ooh. point electric auto leveling which we will touch on a yeah. little bit later in the video but again that's part of the reason that the pro it's priced where it's at too it's price right yeah right there we got the propane tanks okay very nice power awning with led lights <clears throat> right over here we have storage okay, okay little small because um i believe what they call this and tell me if i'm wrong well i believe they call this a drop frame so i it's, believe it's, this is not a drop frame oh okay I believe so the it's drop the other frame way. is what had yeah drop, drop frame, frame has you the better story exactly got it yeah, yeah not a drop frame guys we're still learning together that's, that's why right. we have will on the show good storage here you can also have yeah, a tv and it's everything it's definitely not a drop frame it's just like straight the whole way like it's hot <laughs> <laughs> right here we do have a leash, lit, uh, leash latch for you to tie up your furry friends. Coming on down the side here, we do have very nice steps. They are not hydraulic assisted. And again, I'm not mad at that. This yeah. is this is such a big fifth wheel priced right. Yep. Coming on down, we do have speakers on the outside. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the Goodyear endurance tires. Nice. I love those. ST235-80R16. Very nice. I love that feature. And then coming on down. Lots of twisties, huh? Yeah. Too many twisties. Coming on down, we do have a nice outside kitchen. A little bit of storage here. Nice ever chill refrigerator. Okay. Very nice. Sink right here. And storage right there. Nice. Also, we do have a rear door that's going to be to the bathroom in the rear. Okay, and Oops. unfortunately, it is the black fold-up steps, which will, womp, womp. Yep. you know, we do not like the black fold-up steps. It's okay not to have solid steps here, but give me aluminum steps. Yeah, I agree. We'll check out the inside in a bit. Okay. Coming on down here, we do have a 300-pound hitch. 
Not rated for towing. Okay. No ladder to get up on the roof, but it does come with the Furion backup camera. Very nice. Or somebody's backup camera. It's I think it's a Furion, Furion, yeah. Yeah. Right over here, 50 amp power cord. That's where you're dumping some of your tanks. Lots of slide outs on this side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the tanks are really, really tough. Yeah, and it's like you hate it, but it's like... You know, with this many slides. This, this the other side, not that bad. No, this isn't. But that's where you hook it up. Right here, oh, 10 gallon yeah. water heater. Okay. And then this is the other side of the storage and it's also where your water hookups are. And then here's another propane tank. Well, well, it's freezing. Yes. It, we're definitely not Hershey no more. That's right. The outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. And we don't need to worry about our GoPro overheating. Yeah, that's for sure. Also, it has the Polar Shield, which is a heated and enclosed underbelly. Very nice. You want me to start in the back? Yeah. Okay. All right, coming to the back <laughs> we, is that full bathroom, which is really nice. Right in front or right behind the bunk, the bunk room here. Then coming forward, you have your living area, dining area, kitchen, everything all combined. And all the way in the front is the main bathroom. And the main bedroom. Where are we starting today? We're actually gonna start back here, Will, but okay. first let's give a big shout out to Lipper. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kurt A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring yes, this video. Let's continue right. the video. Mm -hmm. All right, well, come on back here. We are starting straight in the rear bathroom. Okay. And I don't know how the shower test is going to be. Okay, oh. Yeah. Yeah, womp womp. Unfortunately, if you're six foot three, that shower just does not work. Yeah, the good thing is this is for the kids, and the non-paying customers yep. and all that, so. You know, it's they, a guest bathroom. It's a guest bathroom. Right here we have a little sink and a little bit of storage right there. Okay. And then right here, well, plastic. Womp, womp. And it's actually in a good position too, isn't it? It is. Definitely, well, doable for pooable, but again, it's just not a porcelain. It's not a prime poop position. And, you know, it's one of those things, Will, whereas truthfully, when we go camping together, it's one of those things I would take a crummy shower in a poor plastic toilet over no second shower and right. no second exactly, toilet. Exactly, You know yeah. what I'm saying? So to each their own. Over here, back here, the bedroom area, you have the bed right here, which is very nice, is it flips up, okay, and you can lock it into place. Nice. Um, when it's all safely secure. And then you have the sofa here. It does come out to make a bed. And check mm. out this entertainment center, wow. Right. No, this is awesome, especially with that couch there. Yeah. Like, this is a real hangout for the kids, you know? Right. I mean, and look at this. So many times, Will, in bunk models, uh, the storage is just... It's weak, yeah. Slim to none. And they got four beds in here, which is crazy, too. Right. And then up there is beds as well, yep. which is very, very nice. And more storage. And then over here, it's hard to see. But again, all this sleeping area and all this storage is pretty nice. And then a TV can go here. Okay. Will, show us this kitchen. All right. All right. We'll start here on the island. And again, bunk houses usually take up a lot of your kitchen space. Yeah. So it's nice that they got an island in here of this size. 
nice spray faucet there, hand sanitized station there, um, solid surface countertops, nice kind of farm style single bowl sink there, couple drawers here. Very nice. And some storage underneath, right there. Now behind you is the pantry. Very nice. I like that pantry actually for, you know, the room that they're working with. Yeah, again, you know. the fact that you're getting two full bedrooms in yeah. here is crazy. Nice ever chill refrigerator. Very right nice. Here. And then like a double drawer freezer below. I hope I think it's still taped up. Yep. Okay, and then over here, you got some storage above the microwave and beside it. Okay. The cooking with contour, hey. which is a convection microwave. Very nice. Nice backsplash there. I actually like that a lot. It's that basic, like, kind of, you know, one piece. But basic, they did but it, still looks good. Yeah, they did a different design from everybody else. A little bit of countertop space next to your three burner uh, graystone cooktop Ooh. with the blue lights. And Very oven. nice. Drawer underneath, a nice big one there. A couple smaller ones here. And there. Very nice. And then did we open up the drawers here? I think so, but oh. yeah, we'll you, we did, we did. Okay. <clears throat> Will, I'm getting all distracted. I'm flustered <laughs> from Hershey. Will, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this unit is $85,500 MSRP. <laughs> Current sale price at the dealership is $77,995, which again, Getting all this room in a fifth wheel like this is phenomenal. Guys, if you're ready to buy this motor home, contact us, mattsrvreviews.com. We'll hook you up with a &S because I don't believe very many of our stores yeah. sell the Saber. And it's a 2022. And I promise, guys, we're going to be able to get you a lot better price than that. That's right. But only if you like it. Well, right over here is the dinette. As you can see, the chairs are all strapped down. Um, but there's plenty of space on both sides. There actually is, yeah. Something that I'm seeing here, I don't know if I'm liking it or not liking it. I know, it. it's a little cheap looking to me, but... Right, you don't yeah. have the traditional balances, these just the curtains. Yeah. And then you have wood here. And then we have my mm. favorite mm. zebra shades right there, which RV Miles, Jason and Abby, they say they love their zebra shades. Good. So, over here is a sofa. Very nice, windows all the way around. Um, th something to notice, this window and that window don't open. Right. But That's those two do open. Um, this sofa does come out to make a bed, and mm. it is directly across from the TV Entertainment Center. Yep. Nice TV, little fireplace here, storage here, which is very nice. Okay, you have your little radio player there. And then over here is a lot more storage. Yeah. Well, this thing's a storage machine. It really is. Solid surface countertops, little coffee bar there, storage and storage. Cool. Well, well, it's time for the second toilet okay. test. Shower test. Second out. shower test. All right, this one looked a little more promising. Okay. Wow. Skylight in. Wow, actually really good height with, under the skylight. Even here, it's not too bad. Plenty of width and depth, nice little stool and everything, or a little bench thing. This definitely passes. Beep. That's the shower test seal of approval. That's right. Well, I definitely thought it would have been a radius shower, to be honest with you. I know. Well, just because of the room. You want to hit the lights in here, too? Yeah. Right there, we have a little bit of storage okay. under the sink. And then... Oh, let's see if we can get this. Yep, we got a little bit more storage. Okay. And even some up there, huh? Yes, sir. And well, who cares about the non-paying customers? Because this is a pride Putin position. Bing! Nice. Very nice. Yeah, well, as long as the master bathroom is always good. Right. That's the most important thing. Yep. And then finishing up, Will, in the master bedroom. Nice king-size bed, low bed. Easy to climb into. Yep. Uh, you have storage on both sides. Windows that open on both sides. The nice headboard back there. There is power in USB right there, which is very nice. Some is doesn't something just seem kind of weird here? Is yeah. it just like the lower slide? It's the lower slide. It's something about the frame. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling oh, you're you. right, because with the drop frame, I think it would have been a little bit lower, giving you bigger headboard and all that. Something like that, yeah. yes. 
We're not frame experts, Will. I'm sorry. Right here, we do have storage. Make sure you check out JD's channel. Yeah. And um, for those of you who don't know, JD had to go to the hospital the other day. So thoughts and prayers are with JD. He yes. Did, and we're not just telling you that. He did make a video, and so we want to shout out JD. Yeah, and we if hope you he guys, gets better soon. Right. And if you guys want, like, real education, no offense to us, <laughs> about drop frames and tubular Tires frames and, and six-inch six off-center I-beams and all that stuff, JD is the man for that. He is. Okay. Right here, Will. Very nice storage. Okay. Sliding doors. Very nice. And you can get a washer dryer in here. Nice. Surprising and very nice. Yeah. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about it and three things we don't like about it. Before we do that, I just want to comment on this. This does look a little nicer yeah. than out there. A little bit. Well, what do we do first? Three things we like or three things we don't like? Three things we like. Perfect. Okay. First. Yeah. I'm going to go first okay. since we're in here. Yep. I like how it's a king size bed. I do too. For me personally, I like how it's a smaller, a lower bed. Yep. It's easier for somebody short like me. I don't need to climb in. Well, also and for the dogs. For the dogs. And if you get, you know, a Brooklyn bedding mattress that's 14 right. inches thick. Um, like in my bed, I literally have to climb up into it yep. with this, even if it was 14 inches, just the size of a normal bed. And the fact that it's a king bed, um, and again, pretty spacious bedroom. I really like that. Well, that is like number one. Okay. Well, like number two, I'm going to the other end. Talk to me. Um, this, you know, I don't want to be like generic because it's always like, oh, this room specifically. I like how this flips up. Yes. And then. You get like a real couch here. Yes. And like this entertainment center truthfully is awesome. Like the entertainment center combined with the storage. Yes. You know, putting a TV in here, plenty of room for the kids. You know, you can load up with the PlayStation and the Xbox all behind it. And this is just a great area for them on a rainy day like today. I love it, Will. That is number two. Yes. And the fact, I'm going to combo that with the fact that you're still able to get an outdoor sh kitchen as well. Right, right. That's number two, Will. And then, Will, number three is going to be the kitchen and the storage in here. Right. Again, we're in a two-bedroom unit, a bunkhouse unit, <clears throat> whatever you want to call it. The fact that they were able to still give you so much storage is unfreaking believable. And I think they did a fantastic job. That's right. Well, Will, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about it. Okay. Before we do that, Will, do you have anything on the inside that you dislike? Because uh, I have three dislikes. They're all on the outside, and I know we share a bunch of them. Yeah, we do. The inside stuff is little, so I think we should, you know, do keep it to the three outside. Let's, let's go, Will. Okay. Will, what is dislike number one? Definitely for me, it would be the um, leveling jacks. Four point electric leveling. What's the problem with that? Yeah, this is a big, heavy trailer. Yep. Mine is a lot smaller, Yep. Um, a lot lighter, and we have the four point. And even that, you know, when Matt sleeps on our couch, if I just roll over in bed, he feels that. Right. I know it's going to be a lot worse than this, honestly. Yes, yes. Um, and truthfully, I know they're trying to appeal to that price point. But it's, it's was not, not that, that much more. Correct. And um, it does make a huge difference. It makes a huge difference, yep. That's dislike number one. Well, do we have a dislike number two outside? Yes. Talk to me. Uh, those steps Yes. me. Yep. Again, I, I am glad they did the solid steps here. Those need to be the aluminum. Yep. The ones, those, truthfully, they're just too weak. They don't look that good, to They don't honest. look good. Um, and I would break them probably. Yep, yep, for <laughs> sure. That's number two. And then, well, number three, just to wrap it all up on the outside, would you have said number three is the uh, all the slide outs on that yeah. side with, with the dump with thing? the dump station location? It just just kind of is what it is. Not only that, I I, I can combo it with that the exterior storage yep. is little to none. Yep. But again, it's one of those things. Well, you're getting so much storage on the inside. Who really cares about the outside? That's right. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. We did the whole thing without the GoPro overheating. I know. Amazing. What happens in Michigan in the fall? <laughs> Uh, if you guys are interested in this unit, please go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We're going to hook you up with a &S or one of our partners that sells this brand close to you. And we're going to make sure that they give you a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Will, anything you want to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And um, we were really excited. We've been trying to get up here for a while since RVR purchased these locations. Uh, they just have some really cool, unique brands here, and I'm glad that we finally got to hit them. 
Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know the three things you like and the three things you guys just dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yeah, so much you. for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.